Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is a slightly different video, um, but I'm gonna share with you my favorite makeup products that are all affordable. A lot of people are sitting at home with nothing to do and what better time than ever to go through your makeup and get new affordable ones to play and experiment with. So the reason why I am going to doll myself up today is because we are having pictures taken as a family. I am 34 weeks pregnant and I'm on a timeline to have some pictures done. I am gonna share with you my favorite makeup products that I use. There's only one that is not drugstore, um, but I'm a drugstore makeup person. I don't spend a lot of money on makeup. I have three makeup looks. I have one that is basic and hardly anything and I wear it on the weekends or like around the house. I have a work makeup look that is a little bit more, makes me look more put together. And then I kind of have like a fancy makeup look where, fancy, <laughs> where I go all out. So I'm gonna try to do that one today and share with you how to do it. I'm not a professional. Maybe don't take my application process as well, but you can enjoy the products with me. This is currently what I put my makeup in. People say you are supposed to do your eye makeup first. I don't usually wear a lot of eyeshadow, but that's what I'm gonna try to do today. So I am not going to put eye primer on. I'm not an eye primer person, but I'm gonna use concealer um, as a primer. And my, my new favorite mascara is CoverGirl True Blend Undercover. Now I read that this was a um, knockoff for Tarte Shape Tape. And I've used that before, not recently enough to really truly compare it, but I can hands on say that this is like one of the best that I've ever um, used, seriously. And I have veiny eyelids and uh, it does a really good job. I'm gonna take just like a powder this is Physicians Formula Mineral Wear, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder and put it on the top of mine. So it's actually like 2.30, and I'm not doing pictures until 6.30, but my daughter's napping, and my son and husband are hiking, so it's the only time I have to do it, so I really hope that it looks good four hours from now. What I'm gonna do for eyeshadow is um, I just have a brush like this truly I am not good at eyeshadow the blushed nudes by Maybelline which I really like but I really like this color down here and I like to use it as like my first color and I put it everywhere My go-to eyeshadow look whenever I go to somebody like professional is like a mauve maroonish burgundy for my eyes because my eyes are brown and I just hands down love that. But that's also a color I feel like you can really mess up if you don't know how to apply it right and I've tried to do it myself and I'm not good at it so I'm not doing that now I'm gonna take the same brush and I have it's an Elizabeth Arden palette it came with like the makeup bag I got it for Christmas I'm gonna take this color here it's more orangey but I'm gonna Take it in the crease. And then I'm gonna take this more orangey one that's darker and I'm just gonna put it 
a little in the crease. All right, I'm gonna go back to this nudes palette and kind of take um, this creamier, like lighter color and go for the inside of my eyes because mine are really, really dark. So for eyeliner, I'm going with a dark brown. Uh, this is Physician's Formula. Okay, I only do it um, about to here. Looks kind of weird now, but once you have mascara on, um, it's not. Okay, so for face, I'm gonna do a primer. Now, I just really like silicone, slippery like um, primers. This is Monistat Chafing Relief, seriously. Um, Dr. Dre on YouTube talked about this. It's like, like the same ingredients as like regular primers. And so I put the, uh, mainly here on like my nose area. I get a lot of dryness. And you can see my face gets red didn't used to do that, but it, it does when I touch it now. And now that I have primer, I'm gonna do foundation. Day to day, I use Physician's Formula CC Cream. This is really, really good. Um, but since I am going to get dolled up, I'm going to use Wet n Wild. This is soft beige. Photo Focus, really, really like this, and it is super cheap. Um, I'm gonna combine it with Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is not drugstore, this is like 40 bucks. This is like a splurge on yourself. Um, I bought it like a year or two ago, and I just use it for like really special occasions and pictures and things, um, not an everyday thing. So I'm gonna take um, a whole pump of double wear, which is a little dark for me, but this is lighter and I'm gonna put it next to it. And we're gonna try to blend those two. And hopefully it's not too bad. So I use my hands for a foundation. Um, it's my favorite because your hands really warm up the makeup and I think it goes in so much smoother and better because the warmth of your hands and you can bring your hands with you everywhere you go and you don't have a germy brush. Um, I don't like brushes because they leave streaks. Now I'm gonna take the same concealer from earlier, CoverGirl True Blend, and I'm totally doing this the diva way because pictures. Day to day, I do not do this. Beauty Blender, probably need to clean this one out. Um, I have not cleaned it in a while. I'm gonna actually use my Bare Minerals concealer to set this. I'm like so almost done, but I'm gonna try to set it really, really, really well. And then, like, I don't like a matte face at all. I'm gonna show you my trick. If you are a true follower, then you already know this. 
um, in one of my really old uh, makeup videos. Like I, <laughs> like I'm a makeup person, no. But um, back again with that Physicians Formula Powder. And now I take it and I do like the rest of my face. It just seems like so much makeup. I don't know how people do this like day to day. Like I can just feel it all. But my favorite step is Physicians Formula Translucent Pearl. This is Mineral Glow Pearls. And this is gonna make your <gasps> I thought that was the whole entire thing. It was the brush. Oh my gosh. That could have been so bad because this is new. So this is gonna give your face a glow and it really looks good in pictures. So I do take a like a big fluffy brush and then I lightly put it on my face. I think you can kind of see. Now this isn't like a highlighter the um, highlighters are, you know, way more intense. I like this for like every day. Like I will put this on like an everyday thing. And for bronzer, I'm using NYX Matte Bronzer and this is in medium. I really love Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Hands down, love it, but um, I don't know why I didn't buy it last time but I just pat a little and go in at my hairline in like some circles. And I just don't want, my hairline did not have any color. Around my ear. All right, and then neck. Trying to get rid of the double chin. <laughs> and then a little on the neck. Give me a skinny neck. All right, and then another pat. And I'm gonna try to be very precise. Like that. another line see and now I'm just gonna kind of blend it out but I don't want it to get muddy looking And now I take my blush brush and I've been using Physicians Formula again, Blushing Rose. All right, now I do my eyebrows. I don't do too much because my eyebrows are pretty thick but I comb them up and then this is an elf and this is like in taupe and um, I start here and I fill in and then I do the other side but this is really cheap and it's only like three bucks I think I usually don't do them that dark from day to day, but um, I am for pictures. My brow drama, Maybelline. This is in soft brown, and I go over it 
just a little to set. In the summer and like on lazy days, this is the only thing I use. This is when I get nervous. <laughs> like I get scared of messing up all of this because I can't do lashes. I love L'Oreal mascaras. I love this one, Voluminous Curved. I love the, oh, the pink one that's like a knockoff. But I'm gonna put one light coat of this on because as you can tell my lashes are not black they are brown and so when I put lashes on you can see them so the lashes I have are Ardell um, natural Demi 120 in black easy to apply comfortable <sighs> uh, black adhesive So these are supposed to be like shorter and not as diva-ish. Mine in glue. And let it dry just a bit. So I'm supposed to put it on my lash line and it gets hard because you can't see anything. So I'm gonna try to not make a mistake here. And now I'm gonna take mascara and try to blend them. Okay, so this side was like bad. I'm gonna take a black eyeliner now and try to fix the mess. This is Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner in black. I'm gonna try to go over some of the glue marks because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm done, I'm not messing with it anymore. But for lips, my favorite all-time lip product is only like 99 cents at Walgreens. This is Tawny by Jordana, and I put it all over my lips. That is it, I think. I don't really do gloss. Um, it gets everywhere. You've probably figured out by now my favorites are Physicians Formula, L'Oreal. I do like Maybelline, CoverGirl. I have e.l.f. in there. Go check out some of these products. They are all affordable. And I think that they look great on any skin. So give this a thumbs up if you think I did an okay job. Because if you get really close, my eyeliner doesn't look good, but. Now I gotta figure out what to do with my hair and uh, earrings. So anyways, I will see y'all again next time. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day.